Good afternoon students. In this session, we are going to learn how to normalize the weather data and employee data using knowledge flow layout. That is in VECA, how can we apply the knowledge flow to normalize the weather data and employee data. So for this, I am going to type my both weather data and employee data. First, we concentrate on weather data. So this is my weather data with the attributes, outlook, temperature, humidity, windy and play. Now, I am going to save this file using extension of .arff. So I'm going to save it into my D drive and I'm going to save this one. Once the file is saved, go to the Mecca and select an option called Explorer. So in Explorer, I'm going to navigate this file. So selecting option open file, I'm going to navigate to the corresponding file. Like, let me check whether the file has been saved successfully or not. I will resave this one. So I think it was saved with the AFF. So ARFF. I am going to save this one now, whether I will locate once again, open file, yes, you can now clearly see that weather file was updated, so I am going to select this one. So it consists of five types of attributes, outlook, temperature, humidity, windy and play. Now go to the option called edit, you can clearly display the data in the form of an excel file. Now what is knowledge flow layout? So in knowledge flow layout, I am going to select an option called data sources in the data sources i am going to add that arf floater so that the data set will be navigated into that arf floater now so in the knowledge flow layout i am going to select an option called arf floater and add into knowledge flow layout canvas and along with this i am going to add two types of filters one is supervisor filter and another is unsupervisor filter for supervisor filter i am going to add an attribute called attribute selection and for unsupervised, I am going to add an attribute called normalize since we are going to normalize the data. Now, we are going to add finally the ARF of saver. We can also add that CSV saver or CSV saver or any text viewer or JSON viewer or image viewer, etc. So here I am going to add that ARF of saver means the output will be saved in the form of ARF of file only. Now, right click on the ARF of loader and I am going to select the data set. First, before going to select the data set, I am going to make it as configure. So for configure option, it will ask about the file name. I am going to navigate to my folder. So I am going to select the weather data. Now, now along with this, once the data set has been updated, I am going to make a link between the ARF loader and attribute selection. Now, right click on the attribute selection and select an option called configure. And I am going to select an option called best first option. It was default selected and make it as okay. Now I am going to select an option called data set and I am going to make the arrow mark that is a connection between attribute selection and normalize. So right click on the normalize and select an option called configure. The options are very, very perfectly obtained. Now select an option called data set and navigate to ARFF saver. Now in the ARFF saver, we are going to configure this one. That is we are going to navigate to the folder where the output is going to be saved. I'm going to make the output will be saved as in D drive. So I'm going to select an option called OK. Now, when all the options are set, I am going to select an option called right click on it or you can select an option called run or you can select in the top left option, we are going to have an option called run this flow. Now, when once the flow was run, we can clearly see that the save was successful. Now, open the D drive and we can select the values that is which was saved perfectly. Now, this is the final output. When I am going to open this one, we are going to have only the best fit, that is best attributes in the data itself. So here you can clearly see that we are going to have only three types of attributes, outlook, windy and play. So in this way, we can normalize the data using knowledge flow layout for a weather data. The same can be applied for employee also. So here, this is my employee data. I am going to save this one in the same D drive only and make it as .arff. Now, Select as adds all files and I'm going to option, select an option called save. Uh, yes, we can replace this one. Yes, the value is saved. Now in Veka, I'm going to close this knowledge flow. So I'm going to select the new knowledge flow. So in the Veka Explorer also, I'm going to close this one. No. So in my Veka first, I'm going to select an option called Explorer and I'm going to load my employee data. Yes, I'm going to navigate to my folder and select an option called employee. Yes, you can clearly see that it consists of five types of attributes, EID, ENAME, salary, EXP, that is experience and address. And click on option called edit, you can clearly see the data in the form of Excel file. Now, close, that is minimize this one, go to option called knowledge flow, and same, select an option called data source component and add the ARF floater into knowledge flow layout. So data sources, add the ARF floater, and along with this, I am going to add the filters. As I already said, two types of filters. One is supervisor filter and second one is unsupervisor filter. That is normalize. Now, 
upon adding these two, I am going to navigate to an option called Data Sync and I am going to add ARFF Saver. Now, first right click on it, select an option called Configure and go navigate to the folder. So, my data is employee and I am going to select this one and I am going to click on OK. Now, select an option called Data Set and make a link between ARFF Loader and Attribute Selection. So, right click on it, select an option called Best First which was already selected, click on OK. Now, right click on it and select an option called Data Set and navigate to Normalize. Now, in the normalize also, select an option called configure. All the options are perfectly set and select an option called data set. So, for in ARFF also, go to configure and browse to the folder where the output is going to be saved. I am going to save it as redirect and I am going to select as OK. Now, right click on or select the ARFF loader and start run. And you can, in the log, you can clearly see that the output was saved. So, I am going to open this one that is employee data. At first, we are going to have five types of attributes. Now, only best attributes are going to be remained. So here only EID, ename and address are the attributes are remained. So you can clearly see that EID was normalized. So in this way, you can normalize the data using knowledge flow in Veka. Thank you.